Hello everyone, excited to be back with the, another topic on ChatGPT. As an accountant, we face sometimes simple or complex or out of routine challenges and we need help with that. So in today's session, we'll be discussing how ChatGPT can help us with the you know, with, uh, with this problem solving of those complex or simple accounting challenges. So uh, we'll be using ChatGPT artificial intelligence chatbot and in today's video, we'll be discussing uh, so we'll be giving a simple accounting problem to ChatGPT and try to get an answer from ChatGPT and then we'll be discussing complex accounting problem and we'll provide a business case to the ChatGPT and we'll see what answer we get related to that and the third uh, example we'll give will be out of routine activity for us which we are not normally used to so which is our, not our uh, routine business activity so we'll be, we'll be providing that example to ChatGPT and we'll see how uh, ChatGPT is going to help uh, us with that and lastly at the end of the video I'll be focusing on one and uh, when you, you can you should use ChatGPT and when not to use ChatGPT because there are certain limitations and there are chances that you may get wrong information from this tool so let's get started so routine business activity so we'll be, we will be providing that example to ChatGPT and we'll see how uh, ChatGPT is going to help uh, us with that and lastly at the end of the video I'll be focusing on one and uh, when you, you can you should use ChatGPT and when not to use ChatGPT because there are certain limitations and there are chances that you may get wrong information from this tool so let's get started so the simple example i'm going to give to you the ChatGPT tool is uh, i am an accountant and i want to know the portion of vat in the gross amount of 500 vat rate is 20 percent how i can how, how can i calculate vat and net amount so this is the problem so very very basic uh, problem so you got an invoice and in there it is you get the total amount of 500 you want to calculate how much the proportion of VAT in it so we are going to provide this information to the to the chat GPT bot and see what we get so what I'll do I'll copy paste my problem statement into my this is chat GPT so how to access this one there is a separate video on this one if uh, uh, if you struggle how to access this portal so please uh, follow the steps those are mentioned in that video and you will be able to access this it's free at, at the time of the recording so I'm going to paste my problem statement and see what I get so now ChatGPT is telling me to, tell, uh, to calculate uh, the VAT amount uh, and net amount from the cross so I, I need to uh, this is the formula VAT is equal to gross amount multiply VAT rate uh, and divided by 100 and it is using the value I have given so you can see there's a uh, 100 pound uh, VAT inside 500 total so this is how I can uh, calculate and to calculate the net amount then I have 500 cross less 100 pound VAT and this is my net amount and then I can make those these posting in, into the system accounting system okay if I add another complexity into it how I will get cross value if I have net, net amount so I'm not going to type the previous discussion but you will see chat GPT is adopting my previous conversation and then answering me related to this so now it's going to give me a new formula to calculate the cross amount net amount divided by 1 minus VAT rate divided by 100 so in this example as you can see I didn't provide um, in this sentence I haven't provided 520 so but you can see chat GPT has adopted those values so this is how you can use uh, chat GPT to calculate VAT amount net amount or uh, other way around once you have net amount and you want to calculate the gross amount you can use this one this is one of the simple example I have given to chat GPT so let's move to uh, some complex accounting problem so I want to perform financial appraisal of a project which requires 1 million pound investment with a payback period of 10 years inflation rate in UK is 10 percent calculate me the timeline of inflows cash versus actual so we'll be providing this complex accounting problem and we'll see how chat GBT is going to help us with the uh, financial appraisal of this project okay so it has started responding it is telling me to calculate the timeline of inflows cash versus actual of a, for a, the project which requires 1 million pound investment with a payback period of 10 years and inflation rate is 10 percent so this is how I, i'm going to calculate so it is going to give me the real and versus the ca actual cash flows and it's going to discount it by 10 percent as you know this will then give us the uh, actual uh, cash flow versus uh, real cash flow and then it is telling me how i can then 
uh, evaluate the return on investment and how we can record these entries so you can see in this case the play, uh, payback period is 10 years and total inflows are 1.1 million and the total investment is 2.5 million in real term so this is how you can use chat gpt for the complex examples and now we'll be moving to an, our third example where we will be using chat gpt for out of routine accounting problem so we are investing in a new it software and migrating to a new sap system project will take two years and investment amount of five million with a return on investment of 20 20 million how should we report project expenses liability uh, liabilities and recognize asset at the end of the course of the project of two years so the we we are not investing in, in big it projects uh, every day so now there's a new it project and i want to know how I'm going to record all the expenses, liabilities, and how we are going to recognize those expenses, liabilities, and how we then convert that this investment into a asset and then depreciate this asset. This is the problem. And I'm going to again copy paste this problem to chat GPT and let's see what it says. It takes some time to evaluate the requirement and then it will start responding. Okay, ChatGPT has started responding. So it is telling me project ex expenses should be reported as they incur, typically through the use of the accrual accounting. Liabilities associated to the project, such as loan or vendor payment, should also be reported as they are incurred. In terms of recognition of the new SAP system at the end of the project, it would be done when the system is ready for the intended use and the company is able to use it to generate the revenue. It would be reported on the balance sheet as fixed asset. Depreciation should be taken on the asset life of the asset. It would be a good idea to consult with the accountant or financial advisor. So I can then ask further, please provide me accounting. So let's see what it says. Okay, here are some of the examples of the accounting posting that may be made during the course of the project to implement a new SAP system. So it is giving me the posting. So as you can see, this was the problem statement. And then if you have any follow-up question, you can ask the bot and it will help you with, with, with those uh, queries. So it's uh, telling me how to make a journal entry for the project funding. So which, which uh, GL account will be debited and which will be credited and then to report the expenses related to this project it is again telling me where, what to debit and what to credit really useful so consulting fees uh, is going to be debited as expense and project funding is going to be credited so when the project is ready and we are uh, system is ready for use we are going to recognize all of this as an asset so all associated for project funding liabilities and all the expenses associated this, this will be settled to this fixed asset and then for depreciation it is going to guide us how we're going to depreciate this uh, project uh, with the um, over the useful life of uh, 20 years so as you can see these are the these are the uh, accounting postings which uh, you can um, make over the course of the project so this is one of the good example which which is out of routine for uh, for finance department so you can use ChatGPT to help you out how you can um, perform these accounting treatments so last but not the least uh, this ChatGPT has got some limitations so as this is uh, an artificial intelligence tool which is trained on uh, on 40 gb data and the information provided to this tool is until june 2021 so it won't provide you with the latest information as since it's some it's not a search engine so for example if you want to ask the tax rate uh, currently for this uh, fiscal year in uk or in us or otherwise anywhere in the world it may provide you with the with with that information but that may not be up to date so for example if you ask this chat gpt uh, who is queen elizabeth and it will tell you she is still serving so let me ask it who is queen Elizabeth and you can see it is telling you she is still uh, current queen of United Kingdom however she died last year so the information provided by this chat GBT is not real time however a lot of 
information you can get which is not changing so any problem which is there for example the project if you would have done it now or five years earlier or five years later you will get the good uh, output from this tool however since it's not a search engine so it won't provide you any updated information stay tuned for more videos thanks for your time and enjoy chat gpt